Greetings, travelers. I'm Judd Kobler, founder of 11th Hour Games and game director for Last Epoch. Today, we will be discussing the highly anticipated item faction system coming to the full release of Last Epoch on February 21st. We're very excited to release this innovative new way for players to participate in the deep and rewarding item hunt that Last Epoch offers in the way that they like to play. By joining the Merchants Guild, you will be able to buy, sell, and trade items through the bustling bazaar. Or, if you choose to join the Circle of Fortune, you'll set your sights to the stars and be able to bolster your item acquisition through prophecies and increased item drop rates. This system is the result of many years of debating what the ideal trade system should look like in a loot-based action RPG, tons of collaboration with our amazing community, and many sleepless nights of game design meetings with our game design team. We found through extensive polling that players of action RPGs are split nearly down the middle when it comes to those who want their experience to heavily involve trade and an economy, and those who want to focus on finding items themselves or with close friends. We believe that through the item faction system, we will deliver a tailored and exciting path to hunt for top tier items for both camps of players. In Last Epoch 1.0, you will join a faction once you reach the great mercantile city of Majelka. When you select to join the Merchant's Guild or the Circle of Fortune, a new interface will become available that will let you access details about your current status with your faction, known as reputation, how much favor you currently have, and what benefits your faction is currently providing you. Let's talk about these briefly. Reputation within a faction is a core part of how the faction is going to be benefiting you on your journey. As a representative of that faction, you will continue to increase your reputation by killing enemies and completing quests. For the Merchant Guild, this includes participating in the bazaar and completing trades at your current level. And for the Circle of Fortune, this means completing prophecies that will divine certain items after fulfilling the foretold conditions. Through earning reputation, you will ascend ranks within your faction, earning you unique benefits and options. Once you have earned reputation within a faction, that reputation stays with your account in that game mode. This means if you rank up a cycle character, all of your other cycle characters will have that rank when they join the same faction and contribute to that faction's reputation gain. You may switch factions and earn and maintain reputation with them with no penalty to your earned reputation with the other. There are currently 10 ranks to achieve in each faction, with the later ranks requiring quite a bit of commitment in order to obtain. So, while you have the freedom to change your faction at any time, you will want to pick a faction and stick with it to reach the most powerful benefits that they have to offer. It is important to note that you can only be a member of one faction at any given time per character, and items earned with the benefits from those factions will require that you are aligned with them in order to use them, so most players will want to stick to a faction that rewards their preferred playstyle. Next, let's talk about Favor. Favor is the currency you will earn while slaying enemies or completing quests for each of the factions. Favor is separate from Reputation. This currency can be used to either complete trades with the Merchant's Guild or acquire new prophecies from the Circle of Fortune. And if you find yourself with excess favor, you can always spend the will with the Faction Gambler. Item gifting to party members has been in the game for a while now, and it isn't going anywhere. However, it's important to note that once you have joined a faction, items will start being tagged with the faction you were part of when they dropped. This means that while questing, if you are a member of the Merchant's Guild, and an item drops for you, that item will still be shareable with anyone who is in the party, like always, and be available to be sold, provided that you meet the rank requirements in the Merchant's Guild Bazaar. Just be sure that the person you are trading it to also meets the same faction requirements. The last use case we wanted to solve for are friends who choose to play together and just want their own little trade group, which brings us to Resonances, which are a new type of item that can be found when you are questing with your friends or party members. This item can be used to enable an item to be gifted specifically to the player that you have a resonance with, even if they weren't there when the item dropped. We know a lot of times players will play with their friends and then later you'll be soloing a piece of content and the perfect item drops for your buddy. Well, thanks to the new resonance system, you will be able to give them that perfect item the next time you see them. As those of you who love loot-based action RPGs know, trade and economy is a very complex and divisive issue to solve for when catering to a large player base and different playstyles, while keeping the item acquisition hunt feeling great. We can't wait to get your feedback on the system that we've come up with alongside you, and we thank you for all of your continued input and passion for helping make Last Epoch the next great action RPG. 
there is so much more to explore with the item faction system. So check out the deeper dive we have on our forums, and we look forward to seeing you in Last Epoch, February 21st.